Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you three ways to make your app more accessible to visually impaired users. So there's a lot of people that struggle with uh, staring at their iPhone screens all day, like, uh, uh, you know, unlike millennials like myself. Um, most people over the age of 40 have vision impairment. Um, I've been told that number is literally 100%. Um, so uh, then it's some sort of vision impairment, whether it's correctable or not. Um, there's a couple ways that Apple makes it easier for people that have vision loss to see, and that is with, um, that is with the accessibility sizes, like larger text, supporting larger text, and uh, voiceover. Um, so if you're not familiar with those features, I'm going to show you how to uh, work with them. So uh, the first the first step here is just to um, learn about the accessibility features on your device and the accessibility inspector in Xcode. So I'm going to show you on the simulator uh, where you can find the accessibility stuff. It's in uh, settings. Do 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 general accessibility. And in here, you can turn on things like larger text. Uh, you can let's see. I don't see the options for voiceover on uh, in the simulator, but uh, turning on voiceover, uh, you should do it on your phone just to kind of understand what people that uh, you know a lot of people that are blind or very close to it use voiceover. Um, so just understand what they what they deal with. I'd recommend turning on voiceover on your phone. Um, we can use the accessibility inspector to pretty much see what it's going to look like in voiceover. And uh, from what I've seen, the uh, the new iOS 13, the Xcode 11, offers uh, support for voiceover. It'll talk out loud when you're in the simulator, which is awesome. But we're we're not uh, we're not there yet, and you don't really need that right now. Um, so let me just show you how to open up the accessibility inspector in Xcode. And uh, so I'm here in the uh, grocery store list example. Uh, the link is in uh, the bio down the, below. Uh, the branch you want to make sure it's in accessibility dash starter branch. Um, the accessibility dash final branch is also available down there. But what we need to do here is we need to go to Xcode. And where it says Open Developer Tool, we want to go into Accessibility Inspector. And right here, uh, once you open and run the simulator, which I already have running, but maybe you don't. Um, but once you have it running, it'll show up right here. And you have a detail view, so you can use this little thing. And you can click anywhere. Let me move this over and show you what I'm talking about. So uh, with this detail view, you can say... See, it'll say settings, static text header, um, button, static text, uh, and, and there's little descriptions for everything too. Um, again, Apple's made it really useful and, and easy to use these features. So uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, make these things show up. Now, I have an app right here that is the uh, like I said grocery store list example and we're gonna build and run I'll show you just how it works um, so you can get familiar with the accessibility inspector we're gonna open up that next to it now you can see uh, they have the title and the price and dollar signs of each store and when you click on the store Let's turn that off. When you click on the store, you see the uh, list of items that I want to buy from each store. It's basically, it's hard coded in there. Um, it's just, you know, for display and example purposes. Um, but yeah, you got, you know, all the, all my fancy vegan stuff at Whole Foods. And <laughs> uh, but when you click on each, each item, you see, These are already, they show a label, and uh, when you go over 
here and you change the text size, um, then it automatically changes. And that is because we just used the basic table view. Um, this one is more custom, so when we change the text sizes, nothing happens. So how do we get it uh, more like where it works with dynamic type? Uh, and I'm going to show you right now. Now in here, um, we have a label that's store name and a price uh, and dollar signs as seen in the, uh, in the thing. And we have an image view that is the logo. Now, as you saw with the accessibility inspector, um, it just highlights the whole, uh, the whole cell when you, when you scroll over and when you use this. As opposed to, yeah, like at the top, it'll, it just highlights the label. That's because um, each label isn't marked as an accessibility element by default. Uh, so we have to go in and we have to mark them as accessibility labels. And we're going to do that in a second. But first, I want to uh, show you how to support dynamic type. And in here, uh, all we have to do to support dynamic type is check this box that says automatically adjust font and you want to use a here I'll bring this in for you you want to use a one of these text styles right here and this is just so much easier than using it with custom text uh, if, if you have to if you totally have to use custom text in your app then then do it custom fonts but um, you know I'd rather you not if you want it to be accessible it's just so much easier and um, you know sticking to basic uh, principles like I like being creative with apps too but sticking to basic principles um, makes your app easier to navigate for people that are used to the ecosystem so um, we're gonna make this one the headline font and we're gonna make price the subhead font and so that's done and oh make sure for price we've checked automatically adjust font and uh, for the lines in each label it says there's one line here we want to change that to zero because when you set the lines property to zero uh, it automatically figures out how many lines it needs for the space that it's in. Um, so uh, it's kind of weird, kind of counterintuitive, but yeah, set that to zero. And so now you have these three things done, and we'll build and run, see how that looks. Now, as you can see, the, uh, the text here changes, and it wraps around, which is great. Uh, makes for a great user experience, and um, yeah, it's it looks good, and then it scrolls, and everything is is intact. But uh, but how about our users and friends that uh, can't see at all? Like like this isn't enough, and um, everything is still blurry, and which is a lot of people because the uh, accessibility features in iPhone lend themselves to uh, you know blind people purchasing these phones so anybody that's blind that has a smartphone which everyone in America has a smartphone guys most of them have iPhones and and I've talked to them I've, I was a uber driver I still do it occasionally but I was an uber driver full-time for about two years and um, I drove a lot of blind there's a lot of blind people out there and they all use voiceover because I talk to them about it and I hear them I hear Siri talking to them I hear the voiceover voice talking to them on the phone and they say it's just been you know amazing for them uh, and literally none of them had Androids and <laughs> literally none uh, and it was I mean you know at least a dozen blind people I talked to about this so uh, so understand that, that people will open your your device and they're going to be like, or open your app on their device, and they're going to be like, well, this guy doesn't care about me. And you don't want to be that guy. 
that doesn't care about them, right? So, <laughs> so, uh, so go in here, and uh, we're going to make it voiceover compliant now. And in the stores table view controller, where we set up the uh, cell for row at index path, we're going to add all of our accessibility features. So let's do mark accessibility. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the cell dot store name label dot is accessibility element to true. Um, now here, because the label, all it needs is uh, to be set to true, and VoiceOver automatically knows just because it's static text, it's plain text, they can read it to the user already. So just out of the box, that's all you need to do for a basic label. Now, um, for it's a little different for the uh, for the dollar sign images relating to what the price is, and for the image view. So we're going to go into the image view, cell dot store image view. Dot is accessibility element, and we're going to say true. And then the store image view dot accessibility traits. Uh, we want to make that an image. So see, this is an enum, and there's image, there's text, there's label, there's button, there's things like that, so that it tells the user, um, yes, this is an image. Uh, yes, it's an image and a button. See, it says accessibility traits. So you can add multiple ones um, so that the user knows that they can click on that. And that's really important for people in VoiceOver. Now, uh, next thing we're going to do is give it a title, not price label. Store image view dot accessibility label. And that's what's read to the user. And... Um, for this, we're going to use the store name. So the store item that's up here, you can see the store item is the store for the index path dot row. And um, we're going to say name. And then after that, we're going to do logo because that just describes the image and it's, you know, that's it. That's what it is. Um, so now we're done with the image view. Uh, see, this is this is pretty simple, guys, and it's it's not much work, and it and it helps a lot of people. Um, and for store price label, I'm going to say is accessibility element equals true. And for store price label dot accessibility label, it's going to be price label, price level, because we want it to change depending on. How many dollar signs there are? See in this app. Let's bring it back up. Um, see, just saying dollar sign or saying dollar sign dollar sign or dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign. Those that's not very descriptive to the user. So um, we want it to say price label, and then we're gonna hack, hack into something or uh, tap into something called the uh, called the accessibility value. Um, which is read after the label, and we want to count the amount of characters in the string, uh, and we want to read that back to the user in a way that they'd understand. So we're going to say store item dot price dot count, which is going to count the items in the string, and we want to say out of three, which out of three is you know three is the highest. Which Whole Foods, yay, you meet that. Way to go, Whole Foods. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe not as high as some of the grocery stores out here in San Francisco. I just moved here. Some of these natural markets or whatever. Woo! Pricey. Man, the food looks good, though. Gotta give them that. So, uh, so yeah. Now, it's this is uh, this makes sense. You know, makes sense to the user, makes sense to you, hopefully. Um, if it doesn't, let me know um, in the comments or on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, we're going to build and run this, and this should be ready to go. Now let's let's open up this accessibility inspector, make sure all this stuff still works. Fantastic. And we're going to highlight, see, Walmart.
Trader Joe's. And then here we highlight the dollar sign. It says price level, one out of three. And then we highlight the logo. It says Walmart logo. And then it's an image. So um, there we go. This is uh, this this little this, these little things will make your app so much more useful to people. Um, so uh, if you're considering adding this, I uh, highly recommend it. If you have to for work, I'm glad you came here <laughs> and uh, and and watch this video. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel and and checking out my other videos. Um, if you want to see how I made the table view adjust like this uh, when you up the sizes, uh, check out my video on uh, table views, which I'm gonna add at the at the end of this video and also I'm gonna put a clip at the beginning or put a little reference up there for the how how I set it up um, as far as the custom size table view cells uh, which doesn't matter to you now that you're at the end but um, yeah anyways thanks everybody peace